This must have come as quite a shock. Chrissy has recently spoken about the fact that she's actually not healthy right now. And although a lot of people will assume that she's healthy by looking at her body and the way it looks, that she's actually been struggling for the last year with a lot of sickness, illness, and autoimmune issues. In March of 2022, my body completely shut down. No matter how much I slept, how well I ate, or how hard I tried to move my body, everything became more difficult than normal. When we look at Chrissy, people would praise her for being the epitome of health. She is everything that brands and marketing make us feel healthy looks like. So this is my body now. I don't feel particularly strong. I feel really weak. People might be like, oh, you, you still look great. That's, that's it's irrelevant of what I'm trying to say. And it's really brave of her to admit that that's actually not the case. And I really appreciate her transparency. Sessions became so difficult and I tried to act like everything was okay on camera. But also, this is helping break down the barriers that people think that healthy is a look. Health is just so much more than going to the gym, drinking a green juice and having visible six packs. On the other end of the scale, people like me get trolled for not being healthy because we have a bit of extra body fat, when in fact I am very healthy, I've got a lot of healthy habits, and the reason I have extra body fat is because I've recovered from an eating disorder. So I'm far healthier now than I was a couple of years ago. We can also look at examples like Ben Carpenter, who is an awesome Instagrammer and TikToker and very well educated. And at his absolute leanest, he again was praised for being the epitome of health and wellness. This isn't fitness. This isn't healthy. I'm allowed to say that because it's me. He had the six pack abs and he was super ripped and very lean. But the reason that he was so lean is because he struggled with, I think it's Crohn's disease with him. Do you know my two biggest secrets for staying as lean as I do? I have Crohn's disease. If I consistently eat more food, my stomach starts hurting. That made him unable to maintain any healthy levels of body fat. It is significantly easier to stay lean when eating more food puts you in perpetual semi-fear of shitting your pants in public. I am an anxious food avoider. And he actually wasn't happy with the fact that he was getting leaner and losing weight and struggling to gain weight. But trust me when I say a fair chunk of people with the best physiques have shit going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. Perhaps secret drug use, disordered eating, or ill health. Being super lean can dramatically impact your hormone function, as we've seen with Nick Bear recently. When he cut down in order to compete in a bodybuilding competition, he spoke about how low his testosterone had dipped. And then also if you look into CrossFit, we've got athletes like Catherine David's daughter who really struggled with her relationship with food and many would say probably a disordered eating relationship and she got super lean and lost her period and had lots of different hormone issues that came along with that which can lead to osteoporosis and issues with fertility in the future but looking at Catherine and Nick Bear at his leanest you would think that these people are the epitome of health and Chrissy is super aware of this in this video clip she really gets into that point I can't stress enough that regardless of how you look and regardless of what you see online if someone doesn't feel right then we can't celebrate their weight loss or we can't celebrate their weight gain and we can't celebrate anything if they don't feel great within themselves and these two weeks for me have been absolute hell i may look the same but i don't feel same. It's amazing that people like Chrissy are having this discussion and bringing it to the forefront because it's a discussion that needs to be had. Healthy isn't necessarily a look and you can look like the epitome of health because that's what brands and marketing have made us feel healthy looks like but actually have really unhealthy relationships with food or be struggling with an illness. It's like what we saw recently with Gwyneth Paltrow speaking about how she barely eats and just eats bone broth and then goes on an hour long walk. I do a nice intermittent fast. Um, I have bone broth for lunch a lot of the days. What she was promoting as wellness is actually a very disordered relationship with food and exercise. None of it at all was about health, it was just about maintaining a smaller body and that doesn't necessarily link with what health actually is. And there are studies that show this as well. There's a study that Ben Carpenter promotes quite a lot which is on BMI and healthy habits and how actually if you have four healthy habits but a high BMI say over 30 you are actually healthier than somebody with two or less healthy habits with a normal BMI. Health can be measured in lots of different ways like resting heart rate, lung capacity, blood pressure, how well you can perform certain fitness tests like within CrossFit because we train for performance. There are loads of ways to tell whether you are fit and healthy. Health is more of a feeling 
and how your body is functioning than the way you look. But the bottom line of all of this is being unhealthy, having a health concern like Chrissy or Ben Carpenter or any of the others doesn't mean you're any less of a person and nobody actually owes you health. At some point in all of our lives, we're going to experience some form of health concern. And for me, that's been mental health issues. I've got bipolar disorder and I struggle with eating disorders amongst a load of other things. People can't control whether they're born with stuff like type one diabetes or Crohn's disease. They can't control necessarily whether you get cancer or get ill in any other way. Life can happen and being the optimum level of health and being completely free from illness does not make you a better person, especially if you're shaming other people by saying you're unhealthy. Although I think that would come under the category of not being mentally healthy because if you're trolling people, you're not mentally healthy. <laughs> I understand how it's really easy to presume that health is a look because that's what we're shown by brands and marketing. All we ever see is this ripped physique or fitness models used to promote brands. We don't see regular healthy people just living in their life. I've touched on this before in other videos, like I know like elite athletes and people that are super healthy and exercise very frequently that have a slightly higher level of body fat, but they are the healthiest people I know. Yet they feel like they're not an athlete or that they're not healthy just because they've got a bit of body fat, which they actually need in order to function in their sport. So if you take anything away from this, have a look at yourself and your habits in your life. And if you are working towards health, then that's good. It actually doesn't matter what your body looks like. Health is more more about how it feels and whether you're free from illness or whether you're working towards those healthier habits and it's less about what your body looks like because that changes for everybody. We could all eat the same and work out the same but we would look completely different. I'm really glad that Chrissy brought this up and it might change a lot for us. As I mentioned there have been times in my life when I've been super lean and ripped and had a six pack and a competitive athlete and I've not been healthy because I've been struggling with an eating disorder. If you'd like to hear more about that then watch this video next. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye